this video, this is going to be a live reaction of The Sims 4 Life and Death Expansion Pack. So this is the official reveal trailer that came out October 3rd. So we're going to watch it together. And I apologize, it's going to be a ton of pausing. So if that drives you nuts, you know, I apologize in advance. So just starting out, I love to stop it within two seconds. So they're starting out all these new clothing items. They kind of remind me of Hemfren on Bagley. So if you have the Cottage Living expansion pack, it seems like it's a blend of Hemfren on Bagley and the Crystal Creation stuff pack that came out earlier this year. Kind of giving us witchy vibes, kind of throwback vibes. I'm loving all the darker colors, definitely colder weather, not a long sleeve, even some new things for the kitties. Um, we have hearing aids in the game already, so it's nice to see them using it in this context. And then these new banners that look like they have crows or ravens on them. Again, kind of reminds me of him for on Bagley. So let's keep going. So this is the first look at the town. They haven't actually told us what the town is called. Um, I'm sure it's going to have some sort of creative name. But in this frame, we have this crow on a stick and then this crow costume. So I don't know if it's a medieval event, some sort of fair or festival, because they all seem to be gathering in like a town square kind of area. I don't know if we have that in the game right now, but I guess you can antagonize the crow. See how the eyes are red and it seems like it's ready to attack. Oh, and it definitely does. So that's interesting. In the background here, we can see more buildings or probably rabbit holes, new chair, another fountain, which I feel like we just got a fountain with love struck. So a different fountain, maybe it has different functionality. So at first I thought this was her spouse. <laughs> they seem like they have a very close relationship or a close interaction, even though there's like clearly an age gap here. They're going, this is what I thought was really cool. So in the background here, it looks like a kid is playing with a ghost or one of the, it almost looks like one of those creatures from Paranormal Stuff Pack. I'm not sure how to describe that, that green thing here in the background, but it looks like kids can interact with it. And it's a part of this fair or festival or whatever this is. But what's interesting here is that they're sitting at this table and it looks like they're going to have a tarot card reading. So I am not familiar with tarot cards at all, so I apologize. But it looks like she got something that was pretty neutral or pretty um, positive. New hair, by the way. I'm not sure how I feel about this ombre color. I wouldn't mind it if it came in like a solid color. It would be nice. She seems fine with her reading, but whatever he got really threw him off. So maybe she showed him a negative card. And so it got him talking about death and like getting older. I think this is a new hair actually which i thought was interesting so of course her daughter's like super upset we see that maybe this was him when he was younger so we have him it looks like maybe the two older kids and then our main girl when she was younger and now they're older obviously now i don't know how much of this is like you know, trailer magic and how much this is actually going to be in the game. But it seems like they're more aware that he's about to pass away. Usually in the game, it kind of, I don't know, happens very randomly. So maybe we're going to get some sort of update where they change the way death interactions occur. But looking in the background, maybe this is a new fireplace with the skull over the top. A new poster of a tarot card. Um, it's hard to make out all the details. New lamp, for sure. Yeah, definitely a new desk um, in the background, and that is definitely a fireplace. Liking her earrings are interesting. Everything has these death symbols on it. Like, how morbid. They're very sad. I don't know if that's going to be a new animation. This is completely new. So they're looking like hit, like the moment he passed away, his soul is, like, exiting his body. I'm not even sure how to take that. Like, is that going to be something we see in game? Of course, it's going to add extra emotional stress to the family because not only normally they get a sad emotion if they hear that someone has passed away like if they get a call or if they just find out about it but to witness it is that going to trigger I guess even more sadness in them or how is that going to work emotions wise 
but it seems like the family is like super aware of it now. And so that launches again back into the world. This is another really big view of the world. Um, this must be the downtown. It kind of reminds me of the downtown of like Tartosa with all the high rise, multi story kind of buildings. I don't see where they did the where we started the trailer. I'm not sure where we are with that. But I'm sure it'll give us more insight. Beautiful, huge houses, like family, cottage side houses. And then there's, again, it's a town square, so it seems like the fountain's kind of the base of it. But then off to the side here, it seems like there's an area where you can peruse coffins, because there's like a ton of extra coffins just kind of laying around. Very morbid if that's like a coffin store <laughs> or somewhere you can go buy those. Not sure what this is. I don't know if he's maybe it's the lore for that town. Our main guy was maybe influential in this town somehow. Okay, so this is a very good imagery. It looks like a funeral setup or a memorial setup. So I'm assuming this is the coffin here in the middle podium to do like speeches. You can see they have like a flower set up with his picture and some candles or something along the edges and then places for like sims to sit and kind of sit around and talk um tons of new decor i'm liking this darker theme grandfather clock which i don't think we have in the game right now um new bookshelf bookends you know very dark you definitely get like edgar Allan poe vibes from this which is interesting so it looks like you might have options. So just like if you ever had my wedding disasters or my wedding stories, um, it has different scenery. So that other funeral looked like it was more indoor. This one looks completely different. So instead of having a casket, it looks like it's a crypt or a slab here. Same podium, but they have um, cannons. So if you had growing together and you played the baby shower, there was like an option to like light off cannons to throw out confetti. This kind of reminds me of that same vibe. Pictures, two different styles of pictures uh, with like altars to it and places for people to sit. So I guess you can have both indoor or outdoor funerals if you're into that. This one's another one, but they decorate it a little differently. Instead of having a coffin, they just have like the urn here on the table with the picture and same podium, different seating. I'm actually liking this golden blue or this like deep yellow. You get to have floor wreaths which is nice a, bar, a new bar maybe for people to have drinks afterwards that's another scene of that fireplace we saw earlier and here there's a lot more pictures of different tarot cards on the wall so i guess you get to choose you get to decorate maybe it's a new lot type for funeral homes where you can decorate and decide, do you want to have the coffin? Do you just want to have the picture? Do you want to have the urn? Do you want to do it outside? Do you want to do it inside? New grand piano, which is nice if you want to hire a musician to play at the funeral. Um, but it's very elaborate. I like seeing that I'm assuming you can invite others to the service and, you know, talk or have some sort of event task that you're supposed to complete. So for her, maybe her event task was to light candles around the funeral Another tarot card in the background. I'm not sure what this is. This little mushroom plant guy. Um, an hourglass decor. So they're going to have a lot of sadness, for sure. You know, a lot of flowers, vases, um, you know, pictures. Very morbid, again, with all these photos and things going on. People expressing their grief in different ways. Some people are reading books. Some people are talking, comforting each other. Hopefully these are new interactions, by the way. Now, it's nice to see that the kiddos can do something. It looks like the kiddos are paying their respect in front of the casket. And then this guy, maybe he's an old friend. He wants to have a toast and pour one out for his buddy. She's doing her memorial speech, which I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like but then we see this other scene where it looks like she's back into like a library or another room and she's reading a piece of paper it looks like a will or maybe a testament so she's reading to her siblings and they're getting dollar signs over their head which makes me think that they're getting some sort of inheritance or not sure what that means um in the background another tarot card some sort of knights 
shield, um, another little end table, a lot of decor, uh, new decor in this one. So she's reading off this will, and everyone seems upset. They seem the two other siblings seem very upset. I don't know who he's supposed to be, and the kids seem confused. So I don't know if this is a event or is this just a conversation that they're having. They're arguing about it. Except definitely not okay with it. Um, they seem very, very upset about it. And she's zoning out, not even paying attention to that. Looking at the old memories of her dad. I mean, if you look at the pictures, that's a new, I think that's a new clock here. Looks like they went swimming together. There's some sort of well, which I'm not sure what that is. He had a pet crow. Looks like he was interacting with the cow plants. Took them to this creepy tree. So maybe they grew up in this town and developed with this town over the years. It's not really clear from the pictures, but it looks like she's kind of reflecting back on all of that and having happy memories. So she's going to where the will is. Now, that's the part that's really, really challenging. Um, and I hope the gameplay trailer goes over this a lot more when we get that on October 17th. But there's a reference to a thing called Soul's Journey. So Liv, which I'm assuming is our main girl, she has a bucket list. And it looks like there's different, I guess, stages. The bucket list, it's not clear what stage she's in, but part of her bucket list is to find the well of longing and regret, which I guess is the creepy well that we're going to see here. And then she put a coin in it, and it checked off something on the list. So now that she's done one item on the list, it has marked the first level of this journey. So I'm not quite sure what that means. But it seems to be a positive. Now, when she made the wish on the well, she got a very angry child ghost. Um, now, I forget what red means, what they died of. But it seems like, you know, there's going to be different tasks or activities that you have to do on this journey of life. It's like one of her next goals is to spend the day outside. So a new boom box, another fire pit, some new lights. I think that's a new bathing suit. Or, yeah, I don't remember that being an option so her next goal is to just like hang out outside now we see swimmable water here so the new world definitely has a swimmable lake or pond or something that people are able to interact with which is nice we don't get a lot of swimmable areas in the sims 4 now she's kissing a ghost very random not sure how she came in contact with this one um more decor here in the background for sure have an otherworldly adventure so I'm not sure if that's mean date someone otherworldly or go somewhere. Now, I'm not sure where this is in the world, but this is an enchanted looking lake water pond thing. She swims in it and then she comes out a ghost, which is really weird. And so now that she's a ghost, she can scare the living. But it doesn't look like she's dead. Because she ended up going back. So maybe it's temporary, like you're only a ghost for so long after swimming in that river. And then you go back to being living. But reconnecting with family is one of her goals. So even though her and her siblings seem to be in a period of mourning, they're wearing darker colored clothes, and they're at some sort of like a dance hall or something, a ghost playing the piano back here. They're, that's one of her tasks to do. So she's checking all the right boxes. This dance reminds me of, if you saw the show Wednesday on Netflix, Wednesday Adams has a dance. It kind of reminds me of that for the dance. So we'll see it because I, I don't want them to get slapped with copyright infringement. Now, this is the part that's really interesting. Now, it mentions in the description that you can have a career that lets you work close with Grimm. So I, I'm assuming being like a mini Grim Reaper, you can see Grimm here in the background with some sort of a tablet and a computer. And then there's like a dead body or something here in the corner. So... And then there's another guy who looks like he's also in a Grim Reaper type of outfit. Like, he's doing the reaping with this tablet in the back. And in the back here, we can see pictures. So this is Grim. Maybe this is his warehouse or, you know, where they work out of when they do their Grim Reaping. So very interesting. She's playing in a, I don't know what you want to call this, but it has a thing creepy water that she had when she went swimming. So maybe that's how they reap souls. Oh, no, it takes her to another world where she can. Maybe that's how she goes to the different jobs as she goes through the portal to people who are dying or about to die and d does her job. So it's interesting to see Grimm in a unique way. 
but you, I guess it's not a job you have to keep forever. So it's a lot of memories. I hope we get memories or some sort of memory system in The Sims 4 now because they used to have one in The Sims 3 and 2. And so she's kind of changed. We see now that she's fully in her morning with her dad and she's walking around what looks like a graveyard or a crypt yard. So we see little buildings that look like crypts and a sign that says no ghost. So she's walking around different types of graveyards, which I hope we get to create graveyards as a lot type ourselves. And she's going to mourn her dad. So even after having the funeral where they had some certain interactions for that, it looks like now graveyards have different types of tombs. It's like a different format than we're used to. Then you can put up pictures or different decor next to it. Poor baby. And then she gets to see her dad. He seems like way happier and he's going off. So maybe she helped him complete his journey through completing her own journey. So then it says to embrace what's next. And we see a baby floating down. So I guess it's just showing us the cycle of life. Um, but there's more to this. So the gameplay trailer, like I said, is October 17th. Hopefully we'll get to see more of the active room career. Um, of course, there's pre-order items for people who care about those things. So it's a family portrait, a melody box, and a mask if you purchase by December 12th, which is about six weeks after the pack comes out. My first thoughts on it is it's really interesting. I want to see more about funerals and all of those interactions. That's what makes the difference. Are the Sims going to autonomously give speeches, pour one out, show their respect, light candles, or are we going to have to direct them to do it like we do in my wedding stories to participate in these funeral activities? And are the Sims actually going to sit down and participate? Do we have a say? Do we get to choose the funerals? Like, is it indoor versus outdoor? Is it a casket versus a tomb? Like, what, you know, how do we want to do it? Can we make our own graveyards or crypts? And what is the active career? That's my biggest part. Because gameplay-wise, okay, a few times you do funerals, the soul's journey and the room career are the parts that look like they're the most active. The rest of it is like a one-off. I mean, how often are you going to do a funeral, especially if you're not a generational game player? You probably won't even play through Sims dying. Something else I really need them to address besides wills, which I am curious to see how that works, is I need them to address retirement. Right now, when Sims retired, it's very uneventful. It's boring. They don't make a lot of money. You know, I know, I kind of don't see the point of it. So kind of help make, make things more clear for us um, and make elders as a whole more interesting, not just dying, but leading up to death, I guess. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of the trailer and what you need them to address in the gameplay trailer on October 17th.